going on everybody the spanking guru back for some more home front action and hopefully this time I am not interrupted I originally wanted to do this commentary on Saturday it's Tuesday now so many interruptions with school family friends but we're trying to do it I got some time just ate some lunch just played some poker got my ACR in the suburb in the suburbs uh, about to kill some people so let's get to the title of this commentary if you can't read the title of this is people want home front to succeed people want a game to play that'll beat Call of Duty now let me tell you why this game on opening night and opening week or so I, I guess it still has the same problems I've been hearing from same people I don't have the same problems that they do but if a Call of Duty franchise game had freezing and connectivity issues on the very first night of release nobody would be playing that game as much as everybody is playing right now you have to understand that people are very impatient as gamers and if they can't connect to a game they're gonna say fuck it but um, this is a new series uh, and it was actually really funny they said the reason why there was uh, trouble with connecting is because they weren't expecting the amount of buyers that they got I've been saying this from the start I was waiting for home front because I knew this was gonna be a good game dedicated servers I didn't care about the graphics people were saying all oh, the graphics are gonna look bad the graphics don't matter gameplay and connectivity and fun is what matters about the game and this game truly has that I'm having so much fun in this game and more so than any Call of Duty in a while and I truly think that this is stepping this game was a step in the right direction for gaming look what happened they're a brand new title of a small studio like chaos they put dedicated servers and look how the video gaming community reacted by absolutely loving them and embracing their game and posting them uh, I'm gonna have a commentary soon about uh, the patches and everything they're doing to try to fix this game to try to help everybody so look out for that that'll be uploaded I think shortly after this or tomorrow I don't know if I like posting two videos in a day I don't know it's just some about spamming sub boxes or something I, I don't know I may do it but uh when you get into a game as I said before it's a lot of fun and that's just that was just the point right there so even though it was trouble getting into games in the first week or so once you got into the game you felt the excitement and you felt the fun of the game and that's all that really matters in video games it's just a video game so therefore that's all it can be and if you don't like this you can go back to other games this game uh, I'm gonna describe some things about it I like and some things I do li don't like about it one thing I see people talking about which uh, is kind of surprising to me is campers they say that in this game there are campers and while I do agree with you it's like every single other FPS created as long as there's an FPS where there's corners and stuff that keep you off the radar and stuff like that you will have people camping you will have people doing this so don't I think like this is the first FPS where there's too many campers because in every single FPS there are campers so you need to stop complaining about it um, one thing I can uh, attest to is that in this game uh, we were waxing their ass for a little bit then you noticed how them playing back a little bit more and camping which I mean it, it happens all the time it happens in Call of Duty I'm sorry I keep bringing up Call of Duty this is home front this is this is my game right now and I this is what I want to be playing uh, one thing I can attest to is no noobish stuff I can honestly say that if you are good in this game there is a reason you can't cheat in this game by using you know overpowered weapons because there's nothing like of this sorts there's guns that are better that you can use for certain maps and to tell you the truth there's some bad guns like the uh, light machine guns like the scar way too much recoil that's the scar heavy number three burst but there are guns that are so 
so bad with recoil. And then there's some machine guns like the Vector, which are just absolutely perfect. They can go up against an ACR, and it's a coin flip whether you're on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 bar, which is another great thing about, about dedicated servers. Um, what I did, uh, what I was a bit upset to see was a, a non-variety of game types. There's, a, I think, five game types, the Battle Commander, and then the rest is the... Um, the ground control game and the uh, and uh, the team deathmatch sort of things like the skirm scrimmage, which is well, scrimmage skirmish, which is I think eight on eight, and uh, so more free. And uh, how about including you guys? How about including a free for all playlist? And uh, I heard that they were doing gun DLCs, so I'll be look on now for that. I'm out. Peace.